if you have been following us online or otherwise, you would know that we are uh, going over the tafsir of Sayyidina Ibn Kathir of Juz Amma, a Juz that we all recite all the time. Most of us, Akhir Zaman people, if we, we are lucky if we have uh, made hif, we memorize Juz Amma. Well, most people know some some verses from Juz Amma, and most people they uh, recite those verses. It's important to understand. And Quran is meant to be understood, not just to recite it for barakah, not just for beautiful voices and sounds, and tertil and Allah says, "Afala yatadabbaroon al Quran." Tadabbur is even a higher level of understanding. Tadabbur is with tu'day. Tadabbur is to understand deeply, not just to understand. Quran, Quran is meant, and we are all guilty of this. Yeah? It's quantity over quality these days. How many times did you uh, read the Quran this month? Some people will come and say, oh, I did two khatam, three khatam. Four khatam. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not asking you for quantity. He's asking us for quality. Khairul umuri, the best adwamuha wa inqal, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The best of deeds, khairul, khairul a'mali, kama qala al nabi. The best of deeds are those that. Uh, are uh, consistent, continuous, even though few in number. Hmm? What happens when you do something over and over again? You become an expert on it. You become very good at it. The ibadah that you continuously, consistently do it. Hmm? You become very good at it. So it's not a, a, a matter of uh, quantity. Uh, that... Uh, how many how many rak'ats we prayed? How many? But how we, how we prayed? Did we pray with hudur, with presence? Did we pray with khushur, with submitting to Allah? Did we pray with understanding of who of who we are praying in His presence? Or are we praying when we're looking down? We're seeing our uh, projected mind screen onto the, uh, where in front of us. And we have all the concerns of the day. How, how we are uh, doing. Unfortunately, this is the end of times now. It's all dahiri. Everything is numbers. How many likes do you have? <laughs> Influencers. How many people are following you on Instagram? Your value according to how many people? What kind of people? What if they are miserable people? <laughs> what if they are people who are uh, immoral people? Huh? What does that make you? You have following of immoral people. Is that good? That's... Uh, yani we have lost the plot. We are end of times people. So we wanted to just go over the meanings. We're not uh, mufassirin. No. We're basing it on Sayyidina Ibn Kathir's tafsir, even Mukhtasar tafsir, and whatever we've learned from our mashayikh uh, on that. For we reach Surah Al-Mutaffi, Mutaffifun, Mutaffifin, Wainuni Mutaffifin. And we, from the tafsir, Mutaffifin is those who have one scale for themselves and one scale for others. When when they when it is when their holy self their their important self concerned they use a very very fine scale huh? and also they uh, they uh, cheat they make it to tilt towards them this is a metaphor for anyone who has that sifa and today. We said that this, this quality of selfishness, greediness, and people uh, 
expecting for themselves, loving for themselves what they don't want for others. And people measuring with two scales. And we mentioned what's happening in the world today. What's happening to the Palestinians is a, is a, is a direct result of this quality. Huh? People measuring human life, 30,000, not equal to these human lives. Why? These are Arabs. These are Muslims. These are Palestinians. Their life, eh, 30,000, yeah, it's okay. Collateral damage. Huh? Others, oh, one or two or ten, uh, you never hear the end of it. You never hear the, uh, why? These ten souls are not, uh, the other 30,000 don't have souls as well. They're not human beings. So we live in the age of mutafifin now. Everyone wants everything for themselves and nothing for others. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns them. Don't these people think who these people who tilt the scale in their favor, don't they think that one day they will face a scale that is not tiltable? And they will face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their books not missing anything. Allah is warning. And these people, when when we when Allah Subhanahu wa when Prophet was telling them uh, the the ayat of his Lord, they say Asatir al These are tales of the ancients. Tales, tale of the ancients. This is, nothing is going to happen. There is no afterlife. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ مَاذَا أَنزَلَ رَبُّكُمْ قَالُوا أَسَطِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ If they say, what have your Lord revealed? They'll say, it's fables, tales. And this is here important. كَلَّا بَرَّانَ عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Verily, their hearts have been covered from reality and from the truth. And so, ran is like a filter. Is like a cover. The more we are engaged in sin, the thicker it becomes. People wonder why. Now I hear this in uh, this Ramadan. It's not the same. Many people are saying, "Sheikh, this Ramadan is not the same. Not feeling it. Ramadan is Ramadan." رمضان شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس eternally it is hudan guidance for all, for for human beings eternally Allah subhanahu wa taala dressing it with that reality of the revelation of Quran and the blessings Ramadan it's not the problem with Ramadan problem is with us what are we doing كَلَّا بَرَّانَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ Verily, their hearts have been covered and veiled. Why was it veiled? Because of what their hands earned, because of their deeds. And Prophet ﷺ in hadith explains this point. He says, إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ إِذَا أَذْنَبَ ذَنْبًا كَانَتْ نُكْتَةٌ سَوْدَاء فِي قَلْبِ فَإِنْ تَابَ مِنْهَا سُقِلَ قَلْبُهُ he said that the servant, when he uh, makes a mistake, makes a sin, automatically a black dot, a black drop, take a marker and whoop, a drop in his heart. Now he has a black dot in his heart. How he gets rid with it? With sincere istighfar. istighfar minha suqila. When you make istighfar, it is polished. And he said, فَإِنْ تَابَ مِنْهُ سُقِلَ قَلْبُ وَإِنْ زَادَ زَادَتْ فَذَلِكَ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى كَلَّا بَرَّانَ عَلَى قُلُوبُ 
But if he consist, continues to do uh, bad deeds and evil deeds, every time his heart is blackened. Hmm? Until in, in another hadith, حتى يصبح أسود مربادة until it becomes dark, covered with dark, dark thick like, you know, like the, the, the grayish dark that's thick, it's impenetrable. Until he is unable to discern between right and wrong because أم لهم قلوب يفقهون بها it is what discerns, what understands is not the mind. The mind is a processor, it's a computer. The seed of understanding is our heart. So imagine the seed of your understanding, the mirror of your understanding is covered. Is blocked. What you understand? That's how you can understand how people can do what they do. They can't even understand, they can't even uh, differentiate what is right and what's wrong. A lot of these people think that they are all right. Think that they are better than others. They believe it. They believe they're righteous. You have that leader of the country that is bombing the Palestinians saying we are light, servants of light, fighting the servants of darkness. Mashaykh? Mashaykh saying? And the world, the civilized world should be with us doing these atrocities. Why? They are, in terms of understanding, in terms of realities of their world and their life and, and what is awaiting them for Akhirah, they become stupid people. They have no understanding because of this, of their deeds and what their hands earned. Uh, this is the greatest punishment now. On Judgment Day, the believers, it is said that in heaven, that believers will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah wants, wants to be seen. And it is that the, the delight of seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exceeds and supersedes any delight of heavens. It is that some of Allah's servants, some of awliyaullah, yastaghithuna min al-jannah, that they only they want Allah, ilaha anta baqsudi. They want to be in the presence of Allah. Their heaven is to be in the presence of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when they're not, they will be like, save me from heaven. Yastaghithun. <laughs> They will be calling, take us out of this heaven, we want our Lord. They don't want the heaven. Okay? So, what is the punishment of these people but that, that uh, tilt the scale? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, they will not see Allah in akhirah. Kalla, innahum an rabbihim yawma idhin la mahjubun. They will be veiled from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what hasra is that? Thumma, on top of that, innahum lasalul jaheen. Then they will be thrown in hells. On top of that. And then it will be told to them, this is what you denied? Is this real now? Is what you're experiencing reality? This is what you gave my prophets a hard time before about? Denying there's uh, akhira, denying there's uh, heaven or hell. Say, is this real or not now? This is what you've denied. Experience it now. And then the description of the opposite. Uh, there's two types of people Mulana used to say. Servants of Allah and those who are not servants, rebellious. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the rebellious ones uh, first. Then he says, Kalla inna kitab al Then he says, Now the righteous ones, the 
obedient ones. Their book, where is, where is, the, where is their book? في عليين. عليين من علو. يعني, uh, what do you say? Uh, high. عليين. عالي is high, lofty. كلا إن كتاب الأبرار لفي عليين. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, what is, وما أدراك مع عليين. The earlier group, he says, إن كتاب الفجار لفي سجين. Sijin is below the lowest, the seventh earth, a jail below the seventh earth. Their book, they will find it there. The opposite, in the Kitab al-Abrari, fi Iliyin. And according to the books of Tafsir, Iliyin is the seventh heaven. Or even in some books of Tafsir, it is higher than that. It is Sidrat al-Muntaha. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا عِلِّيُونَ كِتَابٌ مَرْقُومٌ A specifically registered book everyone will have. يَشْهَدُهُ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ And who is witness on, on the books of the people of Iliyin? المقربون is, it is in books of tafsir, is the angels, the high-ranking angels are witnesses on the books. إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ لَفِي نَعِيمٌ على الأرائك ينظرون تعرف في وجوههم نظرة النعيم. says those righteous people will be in the light, in bliss. leisurely sitting on أرائك يعني uh, comfortable seats. and you will see the light نظرة in their faces you will see the light of Bliss and, and delights. Yusqawna min rahiqim makhtum. And they will be given a special drink. Rahiqim makhtum. In books of tafsir it is said they will be given wine. A special wine in akhir. That is sealed with rahiq. Sealed with musk. ختامه مسك وفي ذلك فليتنافس المتنافسون. And he said, and and let let my servants compete to reach these these delights and this نعم. ومزاجه من تسنيم عينا يشرب بها المقربون. And it is flavored from تسنيم is another uh, drink. It is mixed from tasneem. Their drinks are mixed with tasneem. What is tasneem? Tasneem is uh, mixed with Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, mixed with an excellent and exalted drink of the people of paradise. So it is some, something that even increases the delights of that drink. عينا يشرب بها المقربون a spring that the those who are near to Allah drink from as they wish المقربون سيدنا ابن عباس سيدنا ابن مسعود and سيدنا ابن عباس said that this uh, uh, spring and this tasneem drink and this rahiq makhtum will be given to those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings near to him. And the surah ends with wrapping it up, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمُنُوا يَضْحَقُونَ But those criminals, those, those who denied realities, those who abused the Prophet, they used to belittle and make fun of the believers. And when they see one of the believers, one of those who believe in prophets, so they used to say, look, laugh at him and look at him. And when they go home, they tell them how they 
they're making fun of the unbelievers, of the believers. وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَؤُلَاءِ لَظَلُّونَ And when they see the believers, they say, look at these misguided ones following this new religion. فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَقُونَ Today, those who believe will be laughing, sitting leisurely in heaven, looking at those who used to belittle them. هَلْ ثُوِّبَ الْكُفَّارُ مَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ Have these unbelievers been granted, have they received what they have worked for? So, this is uh, giving us a picture, an image of the Day of Judgment and of the two types of people and where everyone is destination for. So, we... Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to be rebellious, to be true servants, to be accepting, to be humble ones, to be simple ones. Prophet ﷺ uh, used to ask to be with the humble ones, with the masakeen. Surely ma'al masakeen. He used to pray to be even resurrected with the humble ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of this holy month grant us to be with ma'al nabiyyina wa siddiqina wa shuhada'i wa salihin. وحسن أولئك رفيقة وما ذلك على الله بعزيز May Allah grant us forgiveness Anyone who has a need, a problem, a difficulty We have with us uh, tonight also someone, a family who lost a dear family member Pray for them, pray for the deceased May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him in his mercy Oceans And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give his family ease we pray for the people of Palestine who have been in, enduring this oppression, this wrong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift their affliction, grant them ease in this holy month. Siri Surah Til Fatiha. Barakallah fikum, thank you for joining us online. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.